Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, this is one I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, and it's the reason why I bought the four pack off of Woot that I did. All right, so uh, as you can see, I've got some cereal and I've got some wine. And I'm not the first one to do this, I know that. Somebody else beat me to it a few years ago. Uh, anyway, so I've got the 2007. Starry Night Zinfandel uh, from Lodi, and um, this wine I bought as part of a four-pack of uh, Zinfandels um, from Starry Night, two from Lodi, and two from Sonoma. I'm trying to remember where the other two were from, and I already reviewed the Sonoma one, and I was like, yeah, it was all right, right? Um, but I bought, I bought the four-pack because of this description. Okay, I'm going to read the entire thing. Uh, it's the back of the label. Our 2007 Lodi Zinfandel is made, from, is made using traditional winemaking methods and is representative of the fine Zinfandels that have been grown in this Appalachia for over 100 years. This wine is well-structured with flesh, fresh flavors of blackberries, cherries with hints of pepper, spice, and eucalyptus. Okay. Our Lodi Zinfandel can be paired with many dishes, but it's especially good with pasta, steak, lamb, burgers, and chocolate-flavored breakfast cereal. And actually, I think on the back here, I know, on Wood it said your favorite chocolate cereal, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to give uh, the Ustream folks a look at the label, which actually is really me watching myself. Hey, man, want to put out the tweet? Watch it. All right, so we're going to, just like I did the pairing... This is the same night, obviously. Um, I did the pairing with the Five Guys Burger. Uh, we're doing a pairing with some uh, cereal at almost 11 o'clock at night. All right, so uh, let's get into the wine first. And I can really smell the cereal, too. So I'm hoping it doesn't throw me off on this. Seems a little light. So I'm getting more of a minerality type of thing, not really a fruit forward nose. Oh, by the way, um, price, forgot to talk about this. On the website, I'm a little disappointed right now, you can buy it for $16. I paid $49.99, well no, no, that's right, no, that's right. I actually paid less, yeah. For four wines, forgot. For $49.99, I got four wines, so they were $12.50. Each. So yeah, it was cheaper. For a second, I thought, man, I spent $25 on that bottle of wine. No, $12.50. All right, so it's, it's, did they say raspberry? They said black cherries, blackberries and cherries. Well, I get a spicy nose, um, more than really any fruit. Maybe a raspberry type of thing. Let's see how it tastes. All right, so it's got it's got a medium body. The tannins hit you for a little bit, and then they they kind of pull away. They don't they don't really they don't really dry you out too much. Uh, I get the cherries. I don't get any blackberries.
I mean, I guess I get the eucalyptus out of it. I was just going to rate the wine without worrying about the cereal here. Um, first of all, I wouldn't even think about pairing it with the cereal. Oh, I mean, chocolate in general, but, you know, it was a nice marketing fluff. It got me to buy the wine. It did its job. But I wouldn't necessarily be like, I've got to pair this with my, with my you know, chocolate-flavored cereal. Um, I just forgot to bring the box out. So I'm going to do that. Come out of the darkness. Come on. Cereal. That's the back of the box. Come on. Cereal. All right, so, um, anyway. It's all. Anyway, um, read the wine. I don't know, it's solid. I mean, it's, it's, it's good, but for a Zin, it feels kind of thin. Now I'm getting the spices and the pepper a little more. Again, wine's opening up. Still feels thin. You got I'm going to call them light to medium tannins. I kind of expect a little bit more body out of a Zinfandel. So um, I don't know if it's, it, it can't, it's not that old. It's not like it's starting to, starting to go on the, on the decline after four years. But um, it feels like a thin wine. Now, so a rating, 86. Like that solid wine, I do like it. But I was expecting a little more. Now, let's pair it with some... Cocoa Puffs. There they go, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I wasn't really sure what, which, which chocolate cereal to get. I mean, I liked, you know, growing up as a kid. This was probably my, was probably my favorite General, that general I'm going to say General Mills, which actually is it General Mills? It is. But just in general, my, probably my favorite just normal chocolate cereal. But I like Ch Count Chocula. I like Cocoa Pebbles. Um, what were some of the other ones? Uh, those are the big three, but this one is just just a straight old just chocolate without having like the marshmallow stuff. I didn't want to get that. So cocoa puffs, uh, it's soggy, a little bit soggy because I've let it sit here for a while. But let's try it out. Mm. I love this stuff. It's an interesting little experiment to put cereal with wine to begin with, but um, I don't know, maybe it's because it's, it's a little soggy and it's, it's, it, the milk's there. So let's just eat the cereal straight out of the box. Remember doing that as a kid? Captain Crunch? I love that stuff. Yeah, better just straight out of the box than with the milk. But um, I think the, the thing about that is that that's why I'm a little disappointed is that, that this is not a bigger wine. The tannins are bigger because if this was like a bolder wine with the tannins, the milk you know, with the fat would really complement that. So um, it's, good. it's a good pairing, but I think I've got something better over here to the side. Which one? Yeah, I think it was this one. This one had the bolder. Remember the White Hall? That's the fun part about doing multiple reviews in one day.
it stands up better to the milk. Um, in fact, I think it's a better pairing, but it's also a better wine. Nothing wrong with this wine, but 86 points versus 90 to possibly 92. Yeah, good stuff. All right, so I'm going to finish uh, this wine with this cereal, and uh, then probably go to bed soon. So uh, thank you for stopping in. Um, I think at this point I might be already, I might almost be leaving for France. This might be the Friday before I leave for France. So um, expect for while I'm there to not have any videos come up. Um, when I get back, I'm, I'm going right to work as soon as I get back. So um, actually I go work for a couple of days and then I have a couple of days off. So those, those will be the days I'll start working on videos that I did while I was in Bordeaux. So don't expect really anything for a couple weeks. So it might be about two, three weeks after this episode, the next set of uh, shows happen. And then hopefully if, I'm, if I do what I'm supposed to do, uh, get some school, get some A school back up and running. Um, real excited about being in France. Uh, I might already be in France when this posts. Um, so we'll see about that. And uh, as always, visit the site. Uh, click on the links, friend me up, donate. And uh, say hi to Zippy Kid. And then the next set of reviews after Paris or after Bordeaux, I'll have a different t shirt to, uh, to represent the other San Antonio wine blogger. Uh, that's it. We'll see everybody again next time.